Welcome back, YouTube. I am wearing a shirt. Let me just point that out real quick. I am gonna film a grocery haul for you guys today. I literally have nothing in my fridge except for like some ground beef and broccoli, but I'm not gonna cut it for every meal because I rarely even eat that. Um, take you guys along with me. I'm guessing I'll spend about 70 to 90 bucks. I cook everything myself, so I buy everything myself. Um, I eat pretty bland at the house, so I don't spend a lot on groceries just because I like to eat out. <laughs> so I keep bland food here. Not bland food, but basic food here. So I'll take you guys along with me. I'll show you what I get. Also, let me just show you these jean shorts. I got them for Forever 21 and they're the greatest thing ever. Look how freaking cute. Okay, see you guys at Sprouts. <laughs> All right, just pulled up the Sprouts. I'll show you guys some clips of what I would get, but I already have, you know what I'm saying? So, take you guys inside. I don't think I'll talk to the camera because I'm just not there yet. Although, I'm a pretty assertive person, so maybe. We'll see. I used to love grocery shopping until quarantine happened, and now I just despise it. I can't tell you last time I went to the grocery store, there's actually nothing in my fridge. It's just such a hassle to go now. I mean, I mean, I get it. Everyone has to do it, but it's just annoying. Like, can't I just run in and run out like the old days i wonder if it'll ever go back what do you guys think i feel like maybe in a year things will get back to normal but mm, maybe not in arizona because it just came out that uh tests people are testing positive it's rising anyways catch you in the star Okay guys, just pulled up Trader Joe's, just up the road. I like Trader Joe's for like specialty items, you know what I'm saying? They always have the good, the good shit, like specialty. I'll show you guys inside what I mean. It, and their prices are so cheap, so we love that. Not trying to be out here spending a fortune because I've been so bad about spending money lately. It's so bad. No, it's not so bad, I overreact, but still, I don't like spending money. I'm a very, I like to think I'm a frugal person reasonable but frugal beside the point i'll show you guys some of their specialty items things i picked up catch you in there all my food is like melted it's like so hot in arizona okay that's sprouts i spent 38 dollars that trader joe's i spent 53 dollars so i actually kind of kept it in my range i said 70 to 90 and i bought like multiples of some things so not that bad anyways let's get going so start off i guess with berries Sprouts always has the best deal on berries for some reason. I don't know why. This is like $2.50. That's so good. Got tahini. If you guys haven't hopped on the tahini train, y'all need to because this is so good. It's just ground up sesame seeds, but I'll make like bowls, like roasted vegetables or cook my meat and I'll make these little like bowls or you can put them on wraps, sandwiches. So good. Put this on top. Don't knock till you try it. It's a really good fat source. Mix it up if you're tired of like avocado or peanut butter. Speaking of avocado, picked up three avocados. Also picked up, I've never seen this flavor, but I really like Bolt House Farms flavors. Honey Barbecue Ranch. I'm excited to eat salads now. So, never tried it. Hopefully it's good. I'm gonna make a salad tonight. And then I got, <clears throat> I showed you guys a close up of this. This zero sugar barbecue sauce. Usually barbecue sauce is like packed with like sugar, carbs. So you're saving so many. There's no grams of sugar. Whereas 
let me just show you. So this is my dad's barbecue that he uses. 50 calories a serving, 10 grams of sugar. So versus 10 calories, no grams of sugar. It's just easy ways like that that you could just totally like save calories. It's so easy. Rice cakes. These are just, I have been on a rice cake cake lately. I don't know why. I'll put like avocado on it or like some hummus or you know what I'm saying, but, and then I'll put this on it. You guys saw it in my last full day of eating. I make a whole concoction out of it. These taste like shit, but if you use them as just a carrier, you can make them taste good. So don't knock until you try it. Forgot to, show, forgot to tell you guys that I got these drinks too. This little sparkling waters, pretty good. Never tried this though. Hustle Matcha Energy. I've never even tried matcha. I'm just such a coffee lover. I just see no point in going to matcha. Actually, let's just try it right now. No. Is this what matcha tastes like? Not a fan. I don't know if this is what matcha tastes like, but not my fave. Hmm, no. Okay, so I unpacked Trader Joe's. Well, let's hop into it. So, start out with this. I showed you guys in the store this. I've never seen it before though. Grilled chicken strips. The, usually when they're pre-made like this, they're just packed with sodium. This one's only 170 milligrams for a serving. That's just really good. And if you look at the ingredients, there's no added oil or anything, which you'll find a lot of them do have added oil, but the fat content, only 1.5. Excited for this because sometimes I'm so lazy on meal prep and I just go like a week without eating meat. Found this medley, fruit medley, strawberry, banana, strawberries, bananas, mangoes, and pineapple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Butter lettuce, they have the best butter lettuce and it's $2 a bag. I use this as like a base for my bowls, like, or if I'm eating a salad, obviously. This is good just like for volume eating. If you guys find that you're hungry, put lettuce in your food. There's like, for this whole bag, it's 30 calories. You could eat this whole bag, pair it with that dressing I showed you. That's 70 calorie little snack or, you know what I'm saying though? Like 70 calories for all of that food, all that volume, that's good. Almond milk, I don't know why I got two different brands, but this one's really good. I showed you guys this, it's like a cashew cheese alternative. I'll put this on rice cakes, super good. Or I'll put this in my bowls, it kinda has cheese taste. It's so good though. It doesn't taste like cheese, but it has its own taste and that taste is good. Mushrooms, I love mushrooms, especially if you put them in the air fryer. 12 minutes on 390. Peanut butter powder, one serving is 70 calories, whereas one serving of peanut butter is 200 calories. So easy way to save calories, people. Not that like, you need to only eat this. Like there's a time and place for all the food, but you know what I'm saying? Like it's nice to have options. Picked up one Honeycrisp apple. Honeycrisp and pink lady are the best. Two bananas. Don't know why, I just feel like everyone has bananas at their house. I've seen this before, the turmeric shot, but I've never seen this. I don't even know what this is. Acerola? As you guys tell me, I don't know. You wanna keep your immunities high, especially the time right now. <clears throat> I love taste of turmeric and ginger. So good. Peach salsa, best salsa ever had. This shit is so good. Put this on a rice cake too. I'll put this on my bowls. You see how I have so many like, I keep my food bland, but I have like things to top it with. I have dressings, I have barbecue sauce, I have avocado. Like I eat healthy, but I top it with like delicious things. If you're tired of eating boring foods, spice it up with some low calorie sauces and stuff. Good old oatmeal. We love oatmeal, have it every day for breakfast. Scoop of protein, tablespoon of peanut butter. Keeps me full. This is like the one food that will literally keep me full for hours. Never tried these before, but the crackers that I usually get, they were all out. So I've heard good things about them though. Corn, pea, bean, and quinoa crisp. 24 crisps for 120 calories. You, you see what I mean? Like, it's like volume. 24 of these for 120. Whereas if you look probably at some other generic brand crackers at the store, they're gonna be like five crackers for 150 calories or something like that. Peanut butter, best peanut butter I've ever tried. I got my dad hooked on it. This stuff is so good, you guys. Best peanut butter ever. They use Valencia peanuts. I don't know what about Valencia peanuts, but they need to keep doing what they're doing because creamy, salted, whoo, fire. Last thing. I picked up was this jalapeno limeade, lime juice beverage. If I'm just being completely honest, I got this because I thought it'd be a good cocktail mix, so. 
so that's everything that I got in my grocery haul. I think I, I spent about round up to like 90 bucks. I eat pretty bland. Like if you guys look at my full days of eatings, I eat good meals. I eat sustainable meals, but I don't, I save fun meals for when I go out. Like yesterday, I went to in and out after my workout. I got a double double with a chocolate milkshake. And then I came home and then I had just a salad. Like it doesn't have to be this all or nothing thing. Like you don't have to, like you can totally incorporate everything you want. I just, I personally choose to just keep my house the safe, the safe place. There's nothing wrong with keeping it in your house. If you feel totally fine having, if you're able to open a bag of chips and just have like four or five, props to you because a lot of people, I think a majority of people can't. I can't, I absolutely can't. That's why I choose to just go out. I still have my fair share of eating out. I love to eat out, but when I'm at home, we're on track, we're on point. I hope you guys like this grocery haul. I love filming grocery hauls. Grocery shopping isn't my favorite thing to do at the time, but I do like showing you guys my food and I love food so much. I'm so passionate about food. And hopefully if you guys go back and watch some of my full days of eating, you'll see how I use all the food that I just got. Okay, last minute making this a full day of eating. Here we have an almost finished bowl of oatmeal. It's two thirds cup old fashioned oats, about two thirds cup of protein powder and one tablespoon of peanut butter. Yum, doesn't that look good? All right, almost forgot to record meal too, but it's about 2 p.m. Just got back from the gym. I'm having some air fried broccoli, ground beef with some hummus and peach salsa with three rice cakes, with peach salsa, hummus, and avocado. Yum. <laughs> okay, I know this actually looks like throw up with peanut butter on it, but it's a little end piece of banana bread that I just made with peanut butter on it. I hope it's good. Usually when I bake, it's not. Yep, just a little afternoon snack. It's like 3.15. Um, probably see you guys at dinner. All right, dinner is served. Look how colorful that is. We've got a bed of greens with butter lettuce and spinach with air fried mushrooms and butternut squash topped with carrots. Got some blackberries, got some mangoes, got some little crunchy things, got avocado. Wow. Got hummus, got peach salsa mixed together. Look how colorful, look how nutrient dense. Go me. It's like 5.30, dang. All right, a little post-dinner snack. We got some Trader Joe's crackers. These are oddly, weirdly addicting. They're like soy sauce crackers. So good. And then this, I need to show you guys the recipe for this. It's so good, it tastes like brownie batter. One scoop of peanut butter protein powder, two tablespoons of peanut butter powder, and one serving of sugar-free chocolate jello mix and then you'll mix it until you get this consistency and it takes you put some chocolate chips in it and it's so good it tastes seriously like brownie batter not brownie batter but like the healthy version of what brownie batter would taste like bomb 6 30 post dinner snack i'll probably i'll still have another meal so <laughs> and we've got our next meal i was too lazy to grab a plate to put these rice cakes on so just uh we got some fruit rice cakes avocado salsa hummus so this is a uh, crackers blackberries mangoes so this is might be my last meal might have a little bar after i don't know but you'll see so bye so i'm sitting in bed editing this video and I didn't film an outro, even though I filmed a grocery haul and full day of eating. I didn't want it to just end awkwardly, so here's my outro. Why are outros so awkward? Okay, I love you all so much. If you liked it, like it, <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.